another how-to video from Level Aviation. My name is Ananda and on this video we're going to be learning how to upgrade the firmware version for your Level devices using a Mac computer. Um, so things that you need, you need the, the firmware that we're going to be putting on to your Level device, you need the software that we use to put the firmware into the Level device, you need the USB cable that comes with your level devices and, and your level device. You can download all of this off of the website levelaviation.com. If you are updating a bomb, you just go to support bomb and um, firmware, download firmware version and make sure you match what you're trying to download for the device that you are updating. Uh, for example, if you're updating an iLevel 3, do not download the firmware for the iLevel 2 because that will render your device unoperable. So let's not do that. Um, so I'm going to put the, the link on the, on the bottom, on the description of the video. You can get it off of that or you can get it off of the website. And once you have downloaded everything we need, then you can follow me step by step. So let's, uh, let's begin. Okay, I have everything connected and downloaded into my Mac computer. My level device is connected via USB cable. And I'm going to go ahead and open my terminal program called Serial. On this open port, I select STM32 Virtual Comfort. This is the USB driver for all level devices and click open okay on our terminal window if you want to verify that everything the, the USB communication is working properly you can use the UUU command it's not necessary but it's helpful so I'm gonna click UUU on my keyboard and you're gonna see a bunch of random data it's okay you're not gonna be able to understand um, the stream of data uh, but it tells you that it's working and from here what we need to do is to take our level device into programming mode so to do that I'm gonna click PPP okay papa 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 and uh, you're gonna see this disconnected message if it's an eye level go ahead and turn off the power to it the eye level requires a power reset to go into programming mode. If it's a bomb, you don't disconnect the USB cable. It's going to connect automatically as it did here on my screen. So at this point, when you see this connected message on bo for both an eye level and bomb, you can go ahead and do the, the click on one on your keyboard and wait for this stream of C's Charlie if you get a Charlie every second that means your level device is ready to receive the new firmware okay and all we're gonna do is click file send file and look for the bin file that you downloaded if it's an I level 3 make sure it says I level 3 because if you send a 2 to an I level 3 you you're gonna render your eye level useless and you have to send it to factory for us to recover it okay so make sure you select the correct bin file i'm using a bomb so i'm gonna use my bomb file and click send and then the next step is select y modem on this transfer protocol it's very important that you use y modem um, otherwise it's not gonna work and you can leave the rest the same click send and the serial terminal is going to send the files it probably takes less than two minutes okay and when you see this message this main menu it's an indication that your eye level or bomb is upgraded or has been upgraded and at this point you can reset the power to your device and connect to a tablet and check the new firmware to make sure that everything is working correctly I want to talk about some of the common mistakes that people do 
I'm gonna go ahead and remove power to my bomb connect it again I'm gonna see this connected uh, message and go ahead and type you 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 okay um, PPP to go into programming mode disconnected if I remove power for for the bomb right now um, it's not gonna work I have to repeat all the steps again okay so do not disconnect the the USB if you're using a bomb device if you're using an eye level device and you don't disconnect and turn off the power to the eye level it's not gonna work so make sure you do that that step and the next thing is if you go ahead and you click file send file without seeing the C the Charlie streams um, it's not gonna work so make sure you type one you see the C's and then you can send the file another common mistake is that you don't select the correct protocol so make sure you do Y modem okay and then send and that's it it's pretty simple you can check out more videos on our website levelaviation.com if you are using a Windows uh, computer to do a firmware update make sure you, you you see the Windows version of this video because there are some extra steps here and there that you have to do I hope this was a helpful video if you have any feedback or comments for me uh, to make better videos in the future please leave a comment below we appreciate it and uh, I wish you happy flying Thank you.